All right, I don't like the fan in this thing. It's too noisy. Um, so I am going to fix it. <laughs> fix it. Uh, let's see here. I need some. These are Torx. Uh, that's about the right size. Over on uh, the EEV blog, uh, Dave had one of these oscilloscopes completely apart, did a big review on it, so if you want to learn all about what the custom chips are inside this thing, uh, you can go over to his channel. Uh, let's see here. It has some pretty fancy ASICs in it. Um, it has a chipset that they developed for a custom chipset that they developed for some expensive oscilloscopes that they had and then they leveraged them into the uh, affordable oscilloscopes like this one. I mean a lot of people would say this one's overpriced uh, but it actually does have very responsive times and stuff. It is it is much quicker in certain functions than my Rigol so uh, yeah it does have a nice uh, it does have a nice chipset in it. It's it's showing its age. This was released in 1990, no, 2000, 2017, I believe. Uh, this particular uh, oscilloscope was uh, built in 2020. Uh, the calibration uh, document was 2020. So let's that off. This is just a piece of plastic so we don't have to be too careful about that. Now the inside there is a bunch of uh, hopefully the same size. Yeah, I need to take all of these screws out. So it wasn't that old. Uh, it's about an $800 oscilloscope, something like that. So I mean it's not priced it's, it's, it's probably double the price of something like a Siglin or something, but uh, for a, a calibrated, officially calibrated scope with really good chips and stuff in it, it's not unreasonable, I'll say that. It's definitely not unreasonable. It, it, was, a, it was an oscilloscope that I considered buying back in the day. It was on my list to take a look at, but uh, unfortunately my garage just can't afford nice things. Um, all right, still have more. Give me more, please. So you can say, why, why did they put so many screws in it? Well, that's for EMI. Uh, make sure that this thing passes EMI compliance, something that the big boy companies pay attention to. Okay, is this thing going to come apart? Oh, there we go. It's going to come apart now. Maybe. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Am I breaking it? Maybe. <laughs> Between just a big power connector. There we go. So that's the. If you haven't seen Dave's review, that's the. Uh, that's the inside there. All of the fancy chips are in here. These are these are chips that they had made, custom chips, and then uh, there's some xilinx kind of arm and stuff over here. So yeah. Anyway, go watch his. Uh, Go watch his review if you're really interested in that thing. I'll just gingerly put it over there. What I'm interested in is that thing. That thing needs to go. That thing needs to go. Um, I'm going to put one of those fancy, expensive fans in it. And um, the fan itself is very quiet. And it also comes with 
um, kind of rubber uh, attachment points and stuff so you can isolate it. This one's bolted directly to a big piece of metal and so it's going to be amplifying the noise um, and by putting in a whole bunch of rubber grommets and things like that you can isolate the isolate the fan noise from the uh, from the chassis. Um, the computer store in town here handles those fans. Um, I can't remember the name of those. Here's the N. Those are the world's ugliest fans. <laughs> Luckily it's inside the product. Um, I've, I've changed a couple fans before. I changed the fan on my um, counter and I changed the fan on my Rigol um, power supply. Both of which were very noisy and annoying. As is this one. And um, it's, it's in my office in my house, which is very quiet, and so it's just deafening <laughs> for me, because uh, that's somewhere where I want things to be quiet. So let's take a look here. This comes out of the power supply. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, I'll cut the wires here. The, those fans come with a bunch of accessories to hack into the other things. But I need a 12-volt fan. And I need it this size, and it's just two wires. So what do you do with two wires? Uh, you just snip them off. So there you go. So <laughs> I'm going to go buy one of these, uh, a nice quiet one, and go from there. All right. All right. Uh, hopefully this fan will work. The company's name is Noctua. I uh, forgot. But I think this will be... All that we need, let's take a look. It comes with all of the uh, I'm a little nervous about this one now. I don't know if it runs only on DC or it has to be has to be AC. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This might not work. Yeah, let's take a look. The other fan that I bought had a, a DC adapter on it. When connected to three pin fans, it'll run at full speed. Uh, I think it's okay, but it didn't come with the cord. The one I bought before had a cord just for DC. And this one does not seem to have that cord in it. Oh. Oh. Well, let's see if we can't put some voltage on this thing and make it work. I think it's just... Yeah, let's put some voltage on it. All I can do is blow it up, take it back. <laughs> see here. I think they'll give a description of where ground is. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, wow. It doesn't even give you a pin up. That's interesting. I guess it's I guess it's standard. I'm just going to try this and this. That's what I remember from last time. There we go. Works fine. All right. So let's put it in.
All right, it comes with these little rubber feet here. Get out the rubber feet. My holes are too small in my oscilloscope. I'm gonna have to make the holes bigger. I might have to drill the holes out. <laughs> That'll be fun. Let's see, what's the direction of fan? Well, it's sucking it in. What's the direction of fan? This one is sucking in. Okay. They're both the same. Uh, Trying to figure out if, the, enough, if there's enough clearance in the back. There should be. This is pretty well flush to the back of the uh, the back of the case, so these sort of need to be flush. And the screws that I had were flathead, so they were flush. So maybe maybe if I can find some grommets, I'll mount this mount this up and above. That might be better. Might be quite all by itself. Maybe I should just try that out. I think I've got some isolation grommets though. All right, there we go. Uh, got it, the fan in, got it wired up. Uh, all we need to do now is put it back together. Power And
Hang on. Let's turn it on. See if it's just as noisy as it was originally. <laughs> just about. <laughs> well, that didn't help. It's probably a little, it's probably a little quieter, but it's still noisier than I'd like it to be. Anything with a fan in it is noisier than I'd like it to be. Well, gave it the college try and uh, it has a very nice fan in it now. I guess this one wasn't too bad, huh? <laughs> no, it was noisier, it was, it was noisier, but yeah, this is pretty noisy. Pretty noisy. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs>